Uh, so who am I? I'm the managing director and co-owner of the Prospect State Agency Group. We have several companies. I've been in the pro property business for 25 years now, which is why we were asked to host the Reading P. And we have about 10 offices across Berkshire and Surrey, uh, with more open soon. I've been investing personally in property for 24 years. Uh, that boat there has just been about to be knocked down in Finchester. To give you a bit of an idea what Prospect Investors Club is all about, briefly, um, we're all about helping you take action. Um, your education is in good hands with PIN, the network, and the different options available, but Prospect Investors Club has been running 15 years, and it's all about helping you guys take action, uh, find deals, and make it happen. Just to give you an idea of what we've done over the past 12 months with, with you guys, had over 206 private meetings, uh, we've seen a total of nearly 1,500 people come to the PIN events from the Investors Club. Um, we've had over 60 investors that are part of the club um, attend and complete the PIN training courses. So to say we endorse it is, a, is an understatement. Um, over 77 single, rep, uh, single lets agree, over 212 room lets agree. So that tells you what's happening in the market. Um, and we've assisted with over 100 mortgage applications most through this man, Gerardo. And the most important fact at the bottom there, we've helped 92 properties exchange. We've worked with our investors for 92 exchanges in the past 12 months. Some numbers there we're really proud of. So if you're interested in finding out more, um, if you've been part of the PIM, you've been educated and you want to go and take action in these local areas, please come and see myself or Dan uh, or James or Colin and, and book a free meeting. Um, five to let as low as 2.19 for 75 percent loan to value 85 percent products still the gut taking at the moment at 5.19 percent um, but again a lot of stability in the market five to let no early payment charges lots of lots of hmo conversions at the moment um, or last year and a half these are products where someone can go in buy it exit out of it on a hmo product um, but it's just a cheaper way to go in to the finance deal rather than get bridging finance and they have no exit penalties and they'll be mortgage afterwards. Uh, Bracknell is a slightly different story. Um, three bedrooms in Bracknell are extremely popular. Uh, anyone that's bought anything in the Wild Ridings area or the Great Hollands area over the last, well, 24 months would be extremely happy. There's a few people in the room that we've obviously found properties for which fit that criteria and they've already made quite a significant uh, amount of capital in a very short space of time. So you can see their three bed properties <coughs> experiencing from speak to the Bracknell manager this evening. There's a real strong demand from residential buyers within that criteria. And there's also a lot of uh, investment buyers that typically look and take three beds into a five, six bedroom HMO property. So 15% growth in that little area of the market in Bracknell. Um, slightly less for obviously two one beds actually coming down there I'd probably say that majority of people now where they can to buy a, a two bed plus unit so the one bed market has maybe, uh, maybe dropped off slightly in the Bracknell area. So 50%, so half of that will be, you know, only allowed. That means that you will pay, in this example, £1,000, which you actually are paying out for mortgage interest, you will not be allowed to offset that. So in effect, you will pay more tax. Did everyone see that already? Yeah. Yeah. So again, what I want to do is compare again, if you've got one HMO property, or you've got 10 HMO properties, it's not so bad when you've got one. Your tax bill is 666. It's just an example. I'm not saying exactly the same for all of you, but in this case study, you would pay paying 666. That's not so bad. Have 10, and you're talking about 83,000 pounds of tax. Okay? If you're paying 83,000 pounds of tax, I'm not completely sure how you're going to be able to run the portfolio anymore. So you need to do something about it. Now, I wanted to start with this, not to scare you, but to wake you up. 